shooting. And the key for the Charlotte Hornets is they've got to make shots. During the regular season, they average 96 points a game. Against Chicago in the regular season, only 85. They have to initiate offense, and it starts with Glenn Rice. As Glenn Rice goes, so goes the Charlotte Hornets. You can see in their 51 wins, 25 points a game, 50% from both the three and the, and the field. And you see in the losses, 18 and the shooting percentage down in the 30s. Bob, he must score and score big, and Anthony Mason must be his sidekick. You can see the philosophy. Go inside to Divac. Run your offense through him. Wesley from Divac around Pippen into the lane. Rice, three on the 24. Had to force it on the run, and Michael got a piece of it. Harper's open. Michael takes it himself, and Wesley fouled him. Of indicating that he's either tired or hurt. He tries to disguise it. Here's again another look at that. Michael looked like he had a layup, just fumbled it. Goes back to the ball, and there's where Glenn Rice falls on his leg. Well, you can really get injured like Curry's hands for the three-point shot. He missed it right there, but there was the right approach. B.J. Armstrong had an open 20-footer, but decided not to take it. Can't be afraid to pull the trigger right now. You got to take your open shots and keep scoring or start scoring in Charlotte's case. Long drought for them. B.J. will unleash this one, and he will hit it. For the year, Michael averaged just under 29 in winning his 10th scoring title by a slim margin over Shaquille O'Neal. Divots from Curry. Back out to Rice for three, and it's short. Longley has it rest. Teniendo en cuenta sus bonus de... Bueno, que aparecen en su contrato, ¿no? Por muchísimas eh, estadísticas. Ahí tenemos a Rice. Vaya vía. Los aros. A break, so he gets six assists a game. Six, seven rebounds. Gets you 20 points. And then is one of the premier defenders that we have in the NBA. All defensive first team for the seventh time in his career. Michael Jordan, of course, made it for a record ninth time. And Dennis Rodman uh, did not make the first or second team. It's a bit of a surprise as Jordan picked up his first personal foul. Now, Michael made it for the ninth time. Bobby Jones, an old Carolina player, also did it eight times. This pass intended for Rodman. There's another turnover. Wesley dishes to Rice. Up top, Mason. Michaels on Rice. Takes him inside and misses. Gets it back. And for the record, Michael Jordan with 12 points has now scored in double figures at least 10 in 1,001 consecutive games, regular season and playoffs combined. with Reed and count the basket well two Tar Heels in a foot race and if you're gonna wrap Michael up you're gonna have to do it a bit more aggressively than that because he left his arms free for the layup well if you're gonna wrap him up you wrap his arms up not his legs he shoots with his arms or look how strong Michael is and he just finishes the shot and the opportunity now for the three-point play as he slams home the follow is picked off by Rodman. That presents even more basketball. Let's talk about team defense. Michael Jordan fronting the post. Dennis Rodman. They're going to flash and try to go high-low. Plotty catches it. Rodman reads it all the way. They go to Glenn Rice. Rodman there is the interceptor. Team defense at its best. That's why the Bulls are the champions. And in recognition... Guarded by Mason. And the rebound by Divac, so only one shot that time for the Bulls, who are 6 of 12 from the field. Glenn Rice is hitting, and this is the kind of shooting Charlotte showed in the regular season. Yeah, well, this guy's one of the best shooters in that. Her getting the other one. He's so dangerous, Dick, because he attempted five a game during the season, and he's averaging four a game in this playoff series. Offensive foul, and let's see if Glenn Rice, now uh, Rice and Jordan, drawing at each other, and a technical foul has been called as Rice and Jordan face-to-face. -face. Set. 
Now keep an eye, Jordan is gonna come around. Now watch Rice step out here and screen Jordan right here. This is the first hit. All right, boom, catch him with the forearm, that's fine. All right, now as BJ come, hold it. Now just watch him step up and nail Jordan right here as BJ comes over the top. Now, Michael is really upset as Michael now comes back and says something. Rice goes right up into his face. All right, so we can see right now uh, that Jordan, he's got 28. Rice was 30. They are the scoring kings in this battle of shootout stars tonight. And Rice can't hold on to the pass and turns it over to Chicago. Well, he tried to look up the floor. He tried to catch that kick with one hand, and then he took a look at the defender, Jordan, as he was running at him. Lost his concentration. Also in five. Let's go out to Craig Sager. Well, thank you, Dick. A very tight game, a shootout between you and Glenn Rice until late in the game. Fourth quarter standing right here, you and Glenn got into it. What happened, and how did that maybe inspire you down the stretch? Well, it's two competitors trying to win a ball game, and, you know, he was setting some good screens. I thought he was moving a little bit. I started trying to get the call by running into the screen, and I ran into to the screen a little bit too hard, and, you know, it, it offended him a little bit, and, you know, we said a couple of words, but, I mean, that, that shows two, two competitors between the two of us.